I want to share my experience with you. This does not mean I am an expert. I'm here to learn by exchanging experiences, as we all are. If someone asks me what I do for a living in an open setting, I would start by saying that I'm a professional singer. And oh yeah, I'm also the director of Pro Gay, the organizer of the Amsterdam Gay Pride. So let's start with singing. We're going to sing a, a canon. Uh, it's called Dup Dup Dup. It's international, so everybody can join. And we will sing it in f first together, and then in smaller groups, and then we will be fully awake so when I start my speech. Okay, so it's like this. I will sing one line, you'll repeat it. One, two, three, four. Dup 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 Dubadi Day. Dup 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 do body day, doop 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 do body day, doop 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 do body day, do a do a do body day, do a do a do body day, doop 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 do body day, doop 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 do body day, all together now. One, two, three, four. Doop, 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 do body day. Doop, 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 do body day. Do a, do a, do body day. Doop, 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 do body day. Now I recognize that you're very shy. <laughs> and you shouldn't be, so get on your feet. <laughs> Shake those shoulders. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. Doop, 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 do body day. Doop, 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 do body day. Do ah, do ah, do body day. Doop, 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 do body day. You're very good. You're group one. You're group two. Group three. Group four. One, two, three, four. Doop, 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 do body day. Doop, doop, doop. Do body day. Do a, do a, do body day. Doop, 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 do body day. Continue. Doop, 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 do body day. 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 Do a, do a, do body day. Do a, do a, do body day. Do a, do Louder. Do a, do a, do body day. Softer. Doop, 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 do body day. Okay, so now I have five minutes left, so I will speak very, very quickly. <laughs> so, how being inclusive creates true leadership? I work for an LGBT organization, Amsterdam Gay Pride Organizer Stichting Pro Gay, which was founded in 2006 and up until 2008, when I joined, male-dominated. I noticed since I became chair in 2010, and since May 1st of this year, executive director, the foundation to me has reached quite a positive change in attitude, and accordingly, a shift has been made in the position we have within the community. This change came to be with the organization, both in the way we work and in the way we professionalize as an organization and in the way we provide direction. The latter concerns not only us as an organization. Our new way of working enables the organization we work with, such as gay and lesbian bars, party organizers, creatives and LGBT professionals, to really become part of the whole Amsterdam Gay Pride event. Within the borders and rules the municipality lays upon the event, they can be their best in what they want to achieve, not only during nine days of Pride and during Pink Christmas, which is upcoming from the 19th till the 31st of December, but throughout the year. While being a healthy organization financially, some things needed to change to get where we are now. 
not in a specific order, but all together at the same time. Three things, willingness to change, standing open for chances and opportunities, and taking those chances and opportunities if they feel right, even though you don't know the outcome yet. In the way we started out in 2006, during the first year, four years of our existence, the event and organization needed and had a visionary chairperson with strong ideas and a strong will to follow up on those ideas. The board consists of members, male members, with very diverse specialties who were willing to put lots of effort and free time into the event. This absolutely was necessary in the first four years of our existence because we were in a rush for there were so many steps to be taken in order to organize a financially healthy and safe outdoor event that was aiming to become more than just a male homosexual event and just parties and a parade of festive boats in the canals. We wanted the entire LGBT community to be part of the event with culture and debate. As I joined the board at the end of 2008 with the task to include lesbian and bisexual women in the program, because in every respect until then, male homosexuals dominated the event, my addition to the board created the first shift in inclusion. Women, women were to be part of the event. The idea of our foundation is that for our events, we organize as little as possible ourselves, but create opportunities for and support the community to do what they want and need to do. We don't judge whether an event suits our program. When it's organized and when people attend, there is a need for it, so it's worthwhile to put on the program. When I started to give the women's program an impulse in 2009 with a couple of enthusiastic women who for the last time had been active in the days of the Gay Games, 1989, we created a small but fine program of cultural and sportive events which we presented as Lesbian Pride and which was quite successful. The women's program, though very different in content, now is fairly equal to the men's program. I found out that when you as an organization, in your communication, explicitly invite people or groups to become part of what, is there, was, what was theirs at the beginning, you really, and you really put focus on that, people are very willing to become part of what you are aiming at. And moreover, the last two years, we've seen new parties, cultural and sporting events organized by new women. Also, the amount of mixed LGBT events has grown steadily. Last year, we focused on the queer community, helping them to organize a serious de demonstration, the Tears of Pride Walk, something they really wanted, and we were more than willing to facilitate, and which became a huge success. An organization like ProGay is leading by its function, because it has the permit from the municipality to organize the Amsterdam Gay Pride, and nobody can get around us. But in my opinion, ProGay became a true leader when we invited our stakeholders to co-create and participate. And that they wanted to, because they definitely know that we are aware that we need them. Without the community, no Amsterdam Gay Pride. Last year, we made a choice to hire two employees throughout the year, which was very new. A senior and a junior event producer. They arrived on our path, first as volunteers, and they were so talented and great people to work with that we gladly offered them a contract. Our team became complete when I joined this year as director. As far as my own part in this, as an executive director, I do not feel, the do not feel the being the leader in our organization. With ups and downs and through some wonderful opportunities, I was able to gather and behold a fantastic diverse team and board with Complement, complementary characters, cultural backgrounds, ages and experience. I don't feel I'm a leader, but I experience being in the center of it all. My role is being a linking pin between our board and my two co-workers. This being part and standing in the middle of a wonderful team and being in the middle of a transition to make our organization and our events better really suits me. Over time, our organization has become more open and transparent, creating and receiving support from so many, which makes our event richer, broader, and in my opinion, the more interesting with every addition. For me, a leader always used to be a person who goes first and tells others what to do and how to do it, an image I would not easily apply to myself. But here I am. I've become one, as it says on my card. 
director. And I think I'm doing quite well for the goals we are trying to reach and for the community we want to enclose. Which makes me wonder, and I want to discuss this in the break, is this way of working a feminine way of working? Not wanting to be the leader and follow the leader, but being part of a community and doing it together. Is it just an attitude? Maybe. Is this kind of working, does it, is it uh, an image of time? Is it the way we live right now that it just fits to do it in this, in this way? I'd like, if you wish, to discuss these things and all kinds of other things over the breaks we have left. Thank you. <laughs>